Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and for today's video, we're going to be doing a standing upper body workout. All you're going to need is a set of dumbbells, I'm using three pounds for this, and just a little bit of space. So let's dive in. Okay, so for this first move, you're going to grab your dumbbells, and we're going to be doing some weighted arm circles. So bring your arms up and just make little circles with them right here. This move is killer. Um, so if you want to make it a little bit easier, if this is really hard, drop the dumbbells and just flex your hands as you're doing the arm circles and that's going to make it easier but flexing your hands is going to make it more challenging so that way it's not just regular old arm circles but if you want to be up for the challenge grab the one two three pound dumbbell make sure it's slow and controlled little circles because we only got 10 seconds left make sure to breathe and lower down. Alrighty. Okay, so for this next one, we're going to do, you're going to kind of slightly bend over. Your legs should be slightly bent back flat. You're going to kick your arms back and come back to where you were. Kick back and come back. And for this one, you cut up the weight of your dumbbell a little bit higher. I'm using three pounds for this whole video. But, you know, if you wanted to be up for the challenge, grab a heavier set, or grab an 8 to 10 pound, especially on moves like this. This is a great one for your triceps, back of your arms. come up. Alrighty, so for this next one, what we're going to do, you are going to slightly bend your knees again. Your chest should be up, back flat. You're just going to lift them up to the sides and back down. Up and down. your shoulder blades when coming up and you know be careful don't just like launch your arms up there and lose form keep it nice and controlled make sure that your back's flat slight bend in the knee abs are in tight your elbows should be slightly bent ten or five more seconds Alrighty, so for this next one, we're going to go to a wall, so set your dumbbells to the side. Alright, so then come up to the wall and we're going to be doing some diamond push-ups. So just make a diamond shape with your hands, bring your chest to the wall, and push back. It's a great, more modified push-up, but still is a challenging one. To make it even harder, walk your feet up farther. It's gonna add more weight onto your arms. The closer your feet are, the harder it's gonna or the easier it's gonna be. So if you want it to be a little bit harder, you know, walk your feet out farther, or if this is a little too challenging, you can walk your feet a little bit closer. And you could even just do this on the ground on your knees if you prefer. But I'm gonna do it on the wall. All right, let's do one more. Come up. Okay, so for this next one, grab your dumbbells again. So then you're just going to lift your arms up overhead, drop them back to the back of your head and come back. Drop them down and come back. And this one, you could up the weight a little more to make it a little bit harder. Remember, keep your abs in tight. Come up. 
Alrighty, so for the next one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the, um, the dumbbells up on either side of you, come back, do an upright row, and come back down. Up, upright row. And for any of my workouts that have dumbbells, if you don't have dumbbells, don't feel like you can't do them. Um, for this one especially, I would just recommend grabbing something a little bit heavier. You know, you could grab anywhere from shampoo bottles, water bottles, you could use some cans of soup, you know, whatever you have on hand that's still going to be resistance. And you know, for some of these moves, you don't even have to have like the same shape as a dumbbell. You could do anything really heavy. <laughs> Alrighty. That's time for that one. Now let's do some a bicep curl to an overhead press. So you're gonna do a bicep curl, press it up, come down, and down. Bicep curl, up, down, and down. And a lot of times, especially for me, the bicep curl can seem really easy, um, especially if you don't really have that heavy of a dumbbell. So I want to really emphasize on really trying to flex your bicep as much as possible. Get the most benefit out of this move. And like I said before, if you have heavier dumbbells or just heavier things lying around, you want to be a little more resistant in some of these easier moves like the bicep curl, you can do heavier things, you know? Curl, press, down and down. And that's it for that move. Okay, so for this next one, you're going to hold on to your dumbbells. We're just going to stand, you know, about hip distance apart, and you're just going to be throwing some punches with your weights to be a little more resistance. Now, you could do this without the weights, but, you know, you're working your body more when you do it. And I want to make sure that when you're punching, to not just, like, throw your arm out there. You really want to be purposeful Bring your arm all the way back towards your face. I don't know if you've noticed by now, but I really love boxing workouts, even though I'm probably not that good at them at all. So whenever I have something in a workout that has punching, I just love it. So that's why I incorporate it into a lot of my workouts. <laughs> 10 more seconds, guys. Your arm should be burning. I want to keep good form though. Keep your abs in tight. Punch all the way out. Alrighty, and relax. Alright, so now let's go to the wall. Okay, so for the second last move, you're gonna come up to the wall again, and we're gonna be doing some tricep push ups for this one. So basically, just come onto a wall. Your hand should be about, you know, shoulder width apart. What you're gonna do is bring your elbows to the ground, or not to the ground, to the wall, and come back. So your forearms, and come back. Um, this is gonna uh, strengthen your back the arms, your triceps more, as the diamond push-ups worked some other parts of your arms, these push-ups are going to work your triceps. These are killer. And like the other push-ups, you can walk your feet out a bit more, <laughs> um, or you know, walk them closer to make it harder or easier. You want to make sure to keep a good form even when doing these push-ups because like all push-ups you want your abs in tight you should be a straight line last one <laughs> and let's go to our final workout move okay so for this last move grab your dumbbells again and we're gonna go back to those weighted arm circles so come up I like to start and finish with this because starting it's kind of a good warm up. And then finishing it's just like that last burner. Want to make sure that there's no tension in your neck. Oh, this is such a hard one for me, and I don't really know why. It's pretty simple, but just breathe through it. We only got 15 more seconds. to drop those weights you can but I really recommend just keep going we got five more seconds 
and lower down. Oh my goodness, that one, especially at the end, is just killer, guys. But that is it for today's workout. I hope your arms are feeling good. And you know, if you felt like that was a little easy, go do it again. Maybe add a heavier dumbbell. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to tell me in the comments below what video you'd like me to do next. And tell me which one of these moves you benefited from the most, because that really helps me when making more workouts like this. Don't forget to check out my personal channel, which is linked in this corner of the screen and below. Um, I post hair and fashion and vlogs on there. Alright guys, bye.